Welcome to the Tech Mill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Investiva movement. On Monday, we found out that the Chicago Fed National Activity Index fell in October. We found out that China needs to resolve outstanding financial risks and must counter risks from abnormal market fluctuations that stem from the external shocks and that is according to the Chinese central bank. We also found out that the UK retail sales seized their decline in November and that Germany's November IFO business climate index went up. On Tuesday, we have the U.S. Consumer Confidence Index for November, and we have New Zealand's trade balance for October, as well as the RBNZ Governor News Conference. With that, today I'm looking at the Kiwi dollar pair, which has still uh, is still trading within a narrow range after breaking above the daily Ichimoku cloud last week. We talked about that last week. The pair also appears to be in the process of forming a reverse head and shoulder chart pattern, signaling further medium term bullish sentiment. But the 38% Fibonacci retracement level is acting as a strong resistance at the moment, and we need yet another bullish push for the pair to get moving in this new uptrend. This week's economic data may just provide the bullish sentiment we've been waiting for. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the TickMill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.